Welcome to the Old Timer Centre. My name is Philip Tarrant and I'm going to talk to you about another CLK. We've got a number of CLKs in stock at the moment. Uh, this particular car is a 2002 CLK 320. It's done 100 and f uh, just over 100,000 kilometres actually. It's got the original number plates from brand new AMX10S. It was optioned with the five spoke AMG wheels. And the car really does look fantastic. It's got a sunroof, it's an elegant, so it's got the beautiful timber work on the inside. And it has memory electric seats on the driver's and passenger side. It's done 102,041 kilometres to be exact. It's got navigation. It's a four seater coupe. It's got two remote keys to it. It drives beautifully, I have driven it. it says the next, it's done 102,000 kilometres, says next service due at 106,000 kilometres or December, so it's due in terms of time. But uh, like a lot of these cars, it just hasn't done a lot of driving over the past few years. But it has been serviced, which is great. As I've, I've said before in some of the other videos, the reason why we have so many of these CLKs is because they really are such incredible value for money and they're very reliable. Mercedes really do make some of the most reliable European cars on the road. It's been a Sydney car since it was brand new. It's registered until December this year. All the tyres are good. You know, there's a couple little marks on the wheels which are easily fixed. We've got wheel specialists who, uh, who can fix the wheels. As you can see, just on you know, on the edge, there's a little mark there, and on the edge of the tire, or the rim, I should say. Uh, it does have front and rear parking sensors, which are factory. Um, I like the fact it's got the original plates from new. It just means that it's never come from, it hasn't come from interstate, it's, and it's never been unregistered. Because if it has, it would have been issued with new plates. So it's always been registered. I find a lot of cars, the original plates, you know, can often be one owners as well. But it's a very nice car indeed. It's a very clean car. I don't mean it's a very clean car. Someone's washed it with a sponge and some warm water and soap. What I mean is it doesn't look like someone's had a dog on the passenger seat. They've been to the beach every other weekend for the past 10 years. Even in the engine bar, I think it's pretty clean, yeah. So often with, with this engine, you can get a bit of weep, you know, some oil seepage through here or the other side, but it's very, very clean. Quick look at the oil. Unfortunately, because they're so reliable, people don't service them properly, which is very annoying. Um, but one of the ways you can tell if a car's been well serviced is you just open the oil cap. And so you can see, it's quite clear, just these, um, on the edge, see the, the metal bits at the end there, so I'll try to get it in focus. You can actually see them. The oil's not too bad, it could probably do with an oil change in terms of time, but often um, if they're not serviced properly, when you take that cap off it almost looks like Vegemite. And, um, and it's because they are so reliable, you, you, you shouldn't, but you probably could drive it 20 or 30,000 kilometres or more between servicing. The car will still run, it's just not good for it. But if the oil caps look like that, it would have been serviced very regularly, as we can see in the book, obviously, and we'll have a quick look now. But it's a very good example. I think, you know, for under $20,000, all these CLKs are incredible value for money. It's got a full-size spare. Let's have a look at the logbook. Service book, I should say. So, initial registration was in 2002, CLK 320 Elegance, AMX 10S, we know that, Sanderson's Eastern Suburbs. Here we go. So 
So the first couple of services were at Sanderson's, right up until 61,000 kilometres. Then I went to a specialist over in Gladesville. The last one in the books, 96,000 kilometres. So 96, 84, 72, 61. There's a 15 and 19, there is a gap there. I'd probably talk to Sanderson's, they might not have had the book or something. That's usually the case. It'd be unlikely that the car would be two years old and they wouldn't get, they wouldn't service it. Generally, when these cars get to a point where they stop being looked after, it's when they're 10 years old. Someone's bought a new, they've paid $150,000 for it, and it's suddenly only worth 30 grand or whatever it might be, and people stop taking care. And despite the fact the last service there was in 2014, there is a sticker on the window which says it's not due until December last year so they must have had a service in the middle again you know if these cars aren't driven a lot like if they're only doing a couple of thousand kilometers a year people often even if they are servicing it they won't put a stamp in the they won't get the book stamped because it starts to look a bit silly when it's serviced at you know 92,000 kilometers 94,000 kilometers 96,000 kilometers although it may be annual you know annual servicing it um often looks a bit strange so Uh, that would be why, but feel free to uh, call the per people who have been servicing it. It's been looked after by Sanderson's and then it went to this uh, specialist in Gladesville. But if you've been looking for a good CLK, we think this is a great example. Good colour combination, good wheels, elegance, sunroof, and I think is very impressive. If you have any questions, please give us a call. We're contactable on 02956999999 and we're located in Marrickville, just, uh, just 20 minutes from Sydney Airport, actually. And we look forward to hearing from you. Thanks again.